markets, but various governments are taking different approaches over whether a vaccine is mandatory before returning to the office. Russia has said some people won't be allowed to return unless they've been vaccinated or have immunity. The government says discrimination is inevitable. The Italian government has said all health workers must get coronavirus jabs. Some critics have questioned whether it's legal to only apply the rules to one industry. The government says health workers could be suspended without pay for the rest of the year if they refuse. And the UK Health Secretary says it's sensible and reasonable for vaccines to become compulsory for care home staff across England. The government says it will consider expanding the rule to the National Health Service. Amanda Lennon is an employment partner at the law firm and wealth advisor Spencer West. She told me why it's a controversial move for companies to take a tough stand on vaccination. I think it's a risky policy at this point in time because the UK government hasn't mandated the vaccine in, in the workplace. I think we need to be, as employers, considerate of um, the different views of employees. It's, it's tricky because... On the one hand, if everybody is vaccinated based on the information that we've got um, available to us today, then that will enable businesses to put in place fewer COVID secure measures. But on the other hand, there are employees who may not want to have the vaccine at all or may be very wary about it or very nervous about having it. And it's possible, we'll have to see how the case law develops in this area, but that not wanting to have the vaccine could be a philosophical or even religious belief in some cases that turns out to be protected by the Equality Act and therefore it would be discrimination to um, try and force the vaccine on those employees. And we'll have to wait and see what happens with tribunal cases in those areas, but I think that they may come up in the near future if um, employers push those sort of policies. For some employees, though, the idea of working in a workplace where everyone is vaccinated might well be seen as an advantage. Absolutely. Um, if you have the example of uh, Pimlico Plumbers, the CEO there, Charlie Mullins, has been very clear about um, no jab, no job. Um, and I can understand that where employers are asking employees to go into people's homes, um, as his workers would need to do to do their work, then there is... Um, real argument for having the vaccine. However, because it's not um, mandated, it's going to be very difficult to um, just implement that. That's going to require a period of consultation and um, the views of both the detractors and those in favour taken into account. Ultimately, I think if as an employer you're introducing a vaccine policy, um, you, you should do a consultation and understand what the views of the workforce are. In the case of the Wall Street bank Morgan Stanley, it's not only banning unvaccinated staff from its New York office, but clients too. This is a pretty risky move. I think it is quite risky. And also those statements have been made very publicly, which is also a concern to me. Um, businesses like banks and other commercial enterprises will clearly be thinking about the interests of their clients and um, how to return to normal as much as possible following the pandemic. But in my view, the world will not be the same again. Ways of working and employee expectations won't be the same again. And so to, be, um, to, to have such a broad brush approach about coming to the office, I think, is risky. From a client perspective, if you're being told you can't come to your bank um, to have a meeting unless you've been vaccinated, that could in some cases sway whether the client takes their business elsewhere.